previous video we learned how to go ahead and install uh, the WooCommerce, how to go ahead and create the pages, how to display them, how to add products, uh, categories, uh, as well as how to add them to carts and show the uh, cart page and billing page, etc. In this video, we're going to learn how to create the custom product page because there will be times when you may want to structure them the way you want to. And in that case, you would need to create a custom product page and not use the short code that um, WordPress provides, sorry, uh, WooCommerce provides. So guys, this is the product page, basically uh, product shop. Uh, and uh, obviously, currently, let's see how it's coming from. So if you go over here, all pages, you can see this is the page where it's coming from. So if you click on view page, this is where what you will see. And remember we had gone into WooCommerce settings page and we had selected this product shop over there. So you can see we have selected that product shop. However, this time now we want to make our own custom uh, product page where we want to display all the products. So how do we do that? What we're going to do is basically, first of all, delete this page. I'm just going to move this to trash. Okay, uh, and to come to WooCommerce settings, products, and now you can see that that page is gone. The next thing we're going to do is basically create a template. So I'm sure you know how to create a template in WordPress. I have my 2017 theme, which is a default theme by WordPress, which is already active. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, a create new PHP file. I'm going to name it, name this template file as um, product uh, shop create one so this is created and all I have to do is now in order for us to create a template in WordPress all you have to do is just write a comment say I'm going to zoom it in okay so I'm going to say template name okay and uh, I'm going to name it as uh, products shop okay <clears throat> I'll just say test over here just echo test in fact echo test so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new page to display all the products and I'm going to name it as products shop and because you've created a template this template is now available over here you can see I'm just going to zoom it in you can see that this template product shop is now available so I'll just select that and publish it <clears throat> okay now if you just open this page um, you can now see that you've got all the products here okay one second Okay, I'm just going to rename it as rename it as product shop. Okay, and this is my page. I've selected the template, I update the page, and now if I go to this page, inspect element. Sorry, open a new window. I can see test over here. So I don't see anything because I haven't got anything on this page. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is basically include my footer and header. If you want to create your own custom layout, like if you want to do like. Um, HTML and you know write all, all sort of stuff over here you can do that as well uh, because you have like a clean slate you know uh, on this page so this page is yours now you can design it the way you want to I'm just going to show you how to basically display all the products and then you can you know design it the way you want to so like I said you can take a static HTML and then include the headers and footers and things like that however let's just include the um, default um, header and footer of this page by using the get header and get footer function. So I'm going to go ahead and say get header and then I'm just going to close this and I'm going to say get footer. Okay so now if I go back refresh the page 
sure enough i've got the header in the footer of the default um, 2017 theme which is basically the header.php which is this is being included using this get header function and the foot get footer is including the footer.php which is basically this file right here great um and now basically we want to go ahead and display all the products how do we do that uh, we all know in order for us to display the posts we run the loop of the wordpress and that allows us to display all the posts uh, but in this case, remember this is also a post, all the products are posts as well, but these are custom post types. Uh, so this post, if you uh, go ahead and open it, and let's say this one. Okay, so these are basically uh, post type is equal to post. Uh, okay, uh, however, this one the product the post type is equal to products. So if I hover over it Just try to notice at the bottom or even if I can show that to you by Yeah, over here if you see post type is equal to product which means what we need to do is we need to run a custom query uh, So we all know that in order for us to run the custom query we can just do <clears throat> result we'll create a variable called result and we will go ahead and say new wp query and we need to pass some arguments into it we'll go ahead and pass some arguments so inside of this argument i'm going to go ahead and create an array and inside of this array i'm going to set the post type so remember what is the post type? Post type is equal to product. So I'm just going to take that. Post type is equal to product. Okay. And now if I go ahead and uh, print it out. Let's say I want to print it, not war dump. The result. Let's see what we get. Just gonna go to the our product page. <clears throat> you can see that this is basically we've got everything over here, WP query, and um, you can see that this is with the top three. You know, we're getting the posts basically, top three, published, closed, all of that information. Then I have the top two with the ID of the product, right? Top one, shared three. So all of the data for the products is available here. Even if you go to your uh, PHP My admin, admin in the database, and the name is WordPress testing, go to WP posts, go to the last posts, right? <clears throat> so. You can see that top three, top two, top one, all of these are actually the posts and it's available in the WP posts. Okay, so like I explained to you earlier that these products are also the posts, are actually the post, actually custom post types. And these products obviously would have the ID, the author, date and time, content, all of that. And uh, the WooCommerce also in uh, stores extra information about these products in WP post meta so if you go to post meta if you browse um, if you go and check for the last ones you can see there's some extra uh, meta key and meta value being created uh, by the uh, WooCommerce so if you go on to posts browse uh, look at the top one the ID is 46 so let's search that ID in post meta and click on search post ID 48 okay so you can see that there's some extra information that is being stored over here for that product as well okay so that's how basically the understanding of these products so since we now have the products uh, as in form of uh, uh, the result uh, all we have to do is run a WordPress loop and then we can loop through these products and display them the way we want to. Okay, great. So all we have to do now is basically <clears throat> so 
So I'm going to say um, if half posts then while half posts the posts and then I'm gonna do an end while okay and then here is where we get all the uh, you know we can loop through each item and we can display them using the title the content the permalink the post thumbnail and things like that but remember this is a normal uh, you know query for post uh, post type post but since this is product and this is a custom query we'll have to go ahead and you know uh, add this uh, result to it and then access that these methods okay so result similarly for this as well <clears throat> and now if I just uh, say the title I should be able to get all the titles of the posts. You can see top three, top two, top one. Uh, let's do a BR tag just after this. Okay. So you can now see, obviously, you have got top three, top two, top one, shirt three, shirt two, shirt one. They are in the, uh, I think, descending order, latest first, and then so on. Great. So we've got all of that, all, all of that information. We'll have the content uh, function to display the content as well. So all we have to do now is basically display our products. Before we do that, let's use the bootstrap uh, so that we can, we don't have to write a lot of CSS. It will automatically take care of everything. Uh, most most of the things in fact uh, and don't worry about the codes all of these codes will be available at github I'm gonna leave a link at the bottom so you don't have to worry about it so let's go ahead and create uh, include bootstrap I'm going to create uh, my own file called um, custom functions dot PHP <clears throat> and I'm going to include this file into functions.php so make sure all the files that are available um, online uh, on the github make sure that uh, you go ahead and include uh, that particular file uh, sorry this file into your custom into your functions.php so I'm going to use the same function and uh, require get parent theme file path you can use include also uh, so I'm just going to include the file that, that we have so it's into my roots directory so I'll just say um, custom functions dot PHP. I think that should include that. It's custom functions dot PHP. I'll just uh, echo text test to ensure that it's working. Yeah, it's working great so this file is included so what I'm going to do is basically include the uh, bootstrap uh, so I'm going to write a custom function first I'll say if function does not exist and I'm going to name a custom function I'll name it as IHS just prefixing it with namespacing uh, NQ script okay and I'm just going to define this function inside of this this is just to ensure that it, this function if this function doesn't belong uh, if, if function already present then then don't go ahead and execute the function or define the function okay and inside of this uh, basically I'm just going to do add action add action and we know we need to use the hook which is WP and Q scripts comma and then the name of our function in quotes you already know this how to include the uh, styles and scripts it's just a 
okay and then I'm gonna include the style uh, but before including the styles guys uh, we may not want to use these style sheets on all of our pages so how do we ensure that we include only on the product page well WooCommerce provides us with a predefined function and this function is called is product so I'm gonna check if is product so what this is going to do is is product is going to return true if the user is on the product page which means this page okay so if that is true then go ahead and include our custom uh, bootstrap file so wpnq style I'm going to name it as IHS boot CSS and then I'm going to include a CDN of it so let's go to bootstrap CDN <clears throat> okay I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to include the CSS and I'm just going to close this with a semicolon next one WP NQ scripts IHS, this is the uh, unique name handle, boot JS, it's a unique name. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it the path of the JavaScript file, CDN. So this is a CDN, and then I'm going to say that make sure its dependency is jQuery because we might need that. We'll need that. So it's jQuery and then version let's leave the version to blank and then <clears throat> we want it in the footer we want this file to be included in the footer hence it is true this parameter is true okay great um this will be wpnq script great now i'm going to just go ahead and check if this is being included or not so i'm just going to go ahead and close this go to my product page do a refresh and then I'm going to check the page source, control option U, search for bootstrap. You can see that, uh, okay, bootstrap. You can see that this file is being included. Click on that, and yes, it's included. Great. Similarly, let's look for bootstrap JS. Um, bootstrap. Okay, min.js, click on that. Yes, brilliant. So you've got that included, great. Um, so I, guys, I don't want to make this video to be too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the video at this point. And uh, you can come back on the next video. In the next video, we'll learn how to loop through each item of the product and go ahead and display that dynamically over here on this page. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye.